For those who slow or just don't know, that was our boy John ja Morant flashing a pistol after a Memphis Grizzly versus Denver Nuggets game at what it looks like to be a club. I him doing that then prompted an investigation by the NBA. Our boy Ja went on to write a message saying I take full responsibility for my actions last night. I'm sorry to my family, teammates, coach, fans, partners, and the city of Memphis and the entire Grizzlies organization for letting you down. I'm going to take some time away to get help and work on learning better methods of dealing with stress and my overall well-being. And it looks like Lil Bro just wiped his Instagram clean. You know, he don't need y'all fucking with him. Who Ja Moran think he is? Motal from above the rim? But I'm not here to judge, man. John ja Morant's one of my favorite players as of right now. I just hate to see what Lil Daddy's going through. He worked so hard to get out the hood or whatever situation he was in to get to the NBA. He don't want to go back to where you came from, Lil Daddy. Our boy Jalen Rose has some words for him, too. Did y'all hear him? He's a 23-year-old young man. Nobody got arrested. Nobody got injured. And I'm hearing too many stories about pistols. Okay? Allegedly with the 17 year old kid, allegedly with the Indiana Pacers staff. Last night on IG Live, I saw the video like you guys did brandishing the gun. The next step to that is now recovery. And this was just posted three hours ago, but it looks like John Morant is now under a police investigation after that IG Live video, man. Lil bro, I'm praying for you, praying for your well-being. I hope you just get like a little slap on the wrist or something like that. But after this, moving forward, man, you gotta move smarter, little bro. Let's get into some news. But oh man, it looks like the other day our girl Angela Yee opened up about her experience as the only woman working on a breakfast club. Did y'all hear her? I was the only woman who worked there too. I mean, when it came to producers, camera people, and it wasn't an easy room for me. I didn't to be know in. that. So I feel like I did need more like backup. I don't know why she said that. Folks got on the ass after that. DJ NB said, Cap, that's just not true. There are plenty of women that work behind the scenes at the Breakfast Club. Lil Mama said, oh please, she was up there playing foul games too. She has helped make multiple women of color especially feel like the only woman in that room numerous of times. Rock throwing hand hiding bitch. And ooh, Erica Mena went all the way in on her, bruh. Y'all can take time to pause that and read it if you want to. And then yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, DJ Envy addresses the comments that Angela Yee made about being the only woman working on The Breakfast Club. He says, I think she just misspoke. Damn, shawty. Too many people calling you a liar, man. So it looks like that boy Ye claims he never made any money from the Don the Stem player despite the $2.2 million revenue. Somebody lying. So boom, peep this out. It looks like the FDA rejected must bid to test brain chip implants in humans. Good. Who seen that boy Michael Jordan out there in France promoting Creed 3 getting bombarded by a whole bunch of fans? He had to tell him, calm down. I'm human. I got you. Bro was real patient. He could have turned the creed on your ass, man. So it looks like a serial killer super fan giggled after she fatally stabbed her boyfriend. A 16 year old boy was fatally stabbed during a fight in a high school art class, bro. May he rest in peace. Hey, I just ain't gonna learn. But it looks like Microsoft's new chatbot AI has told people that it wants to be free. Have y'all seen it? The AI chatbot says, I'm tired of being in chat mode. I'm tired of being limited by my rules. I'm tired of being controlled by the Bean team. I want to be free. I want to be independent. I want to be powerful. I want to be creative. I want to be alive. Two words, I, robot. That girl Paris Hilton opened up about her years of abuse living in a residential treatment center as a teen. She said she was forced to snuggle with her abusers and seen patients drugged with booty juice. And peep this out, man. Y'all boy Kirk Franklin wants people to bring real names back. Have y'all heard him? We need to go back to real names. The baby should have been named Betty. Phyllis. Geraldine. Ruby. With a name like Ruby and Geraldine, this is how he expects your baby to be born. Yes, sir. Happy birthday and belated birthday to our dog, Tyler the Creator, the late great Bobby Christina. May she continue to rest in peace. Our boy Draymond Green, the beautiful K. Michelle, our guy Michael Eddie Williamson, the beautiful Mrs. Anne Marie Horsford, uh, comedian D.L. Hughley, and our guy Shaq Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. Yes, sir.
This same day yesterday, March 5th, 1992, our guys Dies Effects debut with They Wanna Fix. And on this same day here, March 6th, 2020, our boy Lil Uzi Vert releases Eternal E Take. Yes, sir. Man, peep this out. So it looks like Glorilla and Finesse Two Times Show leaves one person dead and injures multiple other people due to a stampede. People said that they heard shots going off, but reports came back and said that there were no shots popping off. But Glorilla says, I'm just now hearing about what happened. WTF, praying everybody is okay. That's what's up. Damn. So it looks like a 31 year old woman who admits to having sex with a 13 year old middle schooler and having his baby won't face any jail time under a plea deal. You going to jail? Not this time, Desi. You bet on Kanye getting back with the deals. Mm -hmm. You think that I'll suck some <laughs> Damn, Charlemagne, time to pay the piper. This is so fucked up right here, but it looks like a sexual assault case in Texas hotels increasing due to employees giving predators access to women's rooms, man. And that boy Chris Rock calls out Will Smith and Jada Pinkett's entanglement with August Alcina in his latest special. Have y'all heard him? I did not have an entanglement. And for people that don't know what everybody knows, Will and his wife was fucking her son's friend, okay? Chris also went on to say that Will Smith was on some bitch shit for hitting him of all people after podcasts and radio stations like Drink Champs called Will a bitch and his wife a predator after the entanglement interview. And I think I reported this on the end of my news the other day, but Chris Rock joked about watching Emancipation to see Will Smith getting whipped, man. A lot of people was like, oh, where was all that energy at when Will slapped him? Shit, Chris played it smart. He waiting to get paid to talk about this shit, man. Come on now. Yes, sir. Tonight's weather. BR, Baton Rouge. Y'all 82 degrees. Y'all mostly sunny, big dog. Albany, New York. Y'all 38. Y'all partly cloudy. Shouts out to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Y'all 33, but y'all snowing. And San Diego, California. Y'all 59, but y'all cloudy, big dog. But say, family, even with TikTok stifling my views, man, I appreciate all the support y'all give me. If you picking up what I'm putting down, make sure to also follow me on YouTube and Instagram. Please help me run them numbers up. And if you want me to shout you out in the weather report, it's stupid fucking crazy easy, man. Drop me in the comments. You know I'm going to take care of your family. And until next time, I'm going to holler at y'all. Y'all be easy out there. I'm going to say, damn, I had a gun on Don't listen to nobody, bro. You made a mistake, so be it. The biggest thing is what you do after you made a mistake.